Welcome to Popcorn Planet. I am Andy Signar. So happy to be here with It's Kim and Grizzly, true crime herself. Uh, so happy to have you both. Uh, from the Netherlands, we learned. Wow, 8, 8 p.m. over there, late. It's 3 p.m. here. Uh, thanks for being here, Grizzly. Thank you so much for having me. And uh, always good to have you, Kim. Thanks for being back. It's Kim. Thank you. I'm excited to be here. <laughs> so today we're going to uh, we're going to get frustrated about Amber again. We call her Amber because if we say both words, YouTube will just boom. You're not I don't know why they still are defending her. Uh, it's very strange, uh, but they are. We notice it every day. The video is already yellow whenever you put her name. Haven't done anything except say the name. Boom. We're yellow. Uh, so it is what it is. We have to deal with it. But I, I, this is an important issue I want to go through because as we get closer to the case happening uh, in uh, Virginia in April, uh, it's going to, you know, all eyes are on this case because we've talked about this case for a long time. We played the audio. You know, we are team Johnny Depp because I've dug deep into the research. Um, I'm not some stan of Johnny Depp. I do like Johnny Depp. I like a lot of his movies, but I don't like some of his movies. And uh, I'm not here because of a famous actor. I'm here because I want justice because what I think going to happen to him is incredibly unfair. Men, you know, it happens to men too. And it's a, yes. something that I think a lot of people don't want to admit or ever talk about. Yes. And I feel so sure about it just because of those audio tapes. And I implore anybody who's like just trying to start to get in this case, if you really want to learn and take the time, there's one video I always send first, which is that Brian Fellows, uh, basically hour long breakdown of the Amber tapes where you get to hear it all its entirety. And he's, he does offer some commentary, which you can skip or not. But it's just it's eye opening to listen to this woman and the hoop she jumps through to avoid acknowledging the things that Johnny's saying out loud, but then also not being able to deny the fact that she is the aggressor in the relationship. It's clear as day. Johnny's always wanting to leave the, the, the fights. She wants him to stick around and fight longer and get more uh, you know, into it. When you hear it from herself, it's just impossible to deny like how much of a nightmare this woman clearly is. Add to that as you go through the case, you learn more and more of what she's been hiding or lying about or not giving money to charity that she swore up and down she did. Uh, it's just a really despicable case. And a lot of people just want to say, oh, it's a toxic relationship. They're both bad. Mm. No, I don't like that because from everything I've gathered, sure, Johnny threw a bottle against the wall. But when you dig deep and figure out why, oh, it's because he learned his tax people stole $500 million from him. You know what? I might throw a bottle on the wall when I learn that I lose, you know, half a billion dollars. Uh, I, I might get a little frustrated. And she was secretly filming it, knowing it was going to happen. It, it's like the diabolical nature and the way she spun things uh, is really scary. And then in a UK case, Amber tried to throw this all away, but she couldn't because thankfully the uh, U.S. jury, the judge here was like, dude, we have different laws. It doesn't work that way. And the UK laws are different. The libel laws are different. He has every abs absolute way to defend himself here and sue for libel. That's what we're doing. Now, before I get to this document, just a quick update. Johnny did get a loss yesterday as well. Uh, they will allow um, Amber to basically use the new Virginia sl anti slap laws. And the irony there is that it seems like Johnny and his team chose Virginia as the place to do this because unlike California and others, there weren't these anti slap laws, which basically is like a way. How do I describe that? It's like frivolous lawsuits are pushed away and discouraged and then you have to pay the legal penalty when you do it um they don't want a bunch they don't want the court systems being thrown up with a bunch of stuff that doesn't need to be there and so virginia didn't really have one but then when johnny filed this they put one in motion this trial has taken so long that now this new motion is in fact going to help amber a bit and that she's allowed to say well this is a popular topic that's what i was referring to therefore it's not defamation the case is still going, but it's definitely a frustrating point for a lot of jo Johnny fans. Um, and so, full disclosure, no, that also just happened. But I'm talking a lot, but there's a lot to say here, and then I want to get your thoughts, guys. But I, I really want to talk about this new filing because it's once again very telling as to why so many of us are Team Johnny and why we just don't trust Amber. Because she's out there now, and her team at least, let's call, let's call it what it is, her legal team, they're delaying and refusing to sort of give the images in question that would prove that he did the thing she's accusing him of. And I, I wanna go to, even before we got the documents, go to Kim and, and, and Grizzly. Like, I, I don't wanna speak for any victims ever or generalize anybody, but I, I, I do feel like if I was in a case like this that was so important, and I'm defining this as man, as A-B-U-S-E-V-E, -E, you know, like he's, he, he's hurt me, and I have images of that, and I'm in a court of law, 
wouldn't you do everything in your power to release said true images to whoever you need to to get them verified and triple checked and challenge? Like, am I crazy in my frustration of like, why would you delay or be difficult or make it harder for said photos to be, you know, just checked as many times as need be? I'll go to you first, Kim. What are your thoughts when you see that? To me, I think photos are one of the most powerful pieces of evidence that you can submit if you are in one of those situations. That's why it's a part of if you go to the hospital after something has happened to you, um, that sometimes if there is a kit that needs to be filled um, or a process that has to be filled at that point, photos are taken because those are so important. And to try to stop those from being investigated, to try to stop those from being used authentically is weird to me. Um, to me, it, if you're trying to stop it, it's because there's something not right with the photos. And that's a little concerning to me, um, especially since metadata of photos and things like that, they're difficult to manipulate. Um, and it just seems like maybe they've tried to and it, it didn't work very well. <laughs> right. You know? If you're going to try, you might as well do it right. And I, I don't think they did. If that's if that is the truth here, that's what it looks like. Absolutely. And Grizzly, I mean, you opinion. do a lot of true crime. You do a lot of deep dives. Like images are crucial in these in these cases and the metadata on them, et cetera, also crucial. Do you does this put up a red flag? Do you feel sus when you see Amber trying to well, and we're going to get through it? But like hearing that Amber is trying to be difficult and providing that evidence. Uh, yeah. I mean, obviously, they underestimate the true crime community because, of course, Pictures are crucial and to hold back those pictures and at the same time be trying to one up everything that Johnny Depp does. I mean, that's kind of what Amber's done from the start. From the audio footage, we hear it. I mean, now I see that, you know, Depp is seeking $50 million in damages for defamation. And then she's like, no, 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 I'm seeking $100 million. It's just like, I know these words get thrown around a lot on YouTube, but it's really ultimate gaslighting and narcissism to the highest degree. And I really, really hope she doesn't get away with this. I truly hope the pressure stays on and that, like, really Johnny Depp can get justice. Yeah, well said. It is true, like ultimate gaslighting at its finest. It's it's she, there is no bigger narcissist I've seen online than than Amber yeah. and the way she's reacted to everything in this case. Uh, so let's go through this document. So she's fine. I, I just I have the full piece here. Um, I'm gonna go through. Sorry, uh, I'm gonna go through the introduction. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Uh, these, oh wait, I'm 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 I went I'm at the middle of it. Let's get to this introduction piece. Here it is. In recognition at first that the authenticity and integrity of the photos Miss Heard relies on in this action is at issue, the Honorable Court ordered Miss Heard to produce her devices for forensic imaging and analysis of specif specified extracted data. Court's order imposed common sense limitations to protect Miss Heard's privacy and data, which Miss Heard and her experts have exploited to the point that the contemplated analysis by Mr. Depp's forensic team uh, cannot be completed in advance of the upcoming Chari trial of this action commencing on April 11th since the court and I, again it should be also said this is a you know this is from team Depp this is their allegations this isn't from the we still have to hear the judge's response but take that as you will um, since the court ordered this on November 8th the imaging extraction review process has been plagued by delays technical snafus which are at best negligent and at worst intentional stonewalling des uh, des uh, designed to thwart the very forensic analysis ordered by this court the result, Mr. Depp has incurred extensive costs, both from his expert and the court-appointed limited discovery issue conciliator for nothing. Mr. Depp's forensic expert, Brian Newmister, Newmeister, has not been able to review, let alone analyze, the authenticity and the integrity of the photographs Ms. Heard relies upon to support her claims of A. Uh, in a case where there are, he said, she said, claims of domestic A, the, dom uh, the prejudice to Mr. Depp is not being able to test the authenticity of this key evidence cannot be overstated. There must be consequences. Um, the court ordered forensic imaging uh, so that Mr. Depp's expert could analyze the integrity of the photographs heard took during specific time periods during which she claimed the A happened by Mr. Depp. Pursuant to the order, the forensic imaging would be conducted by Ms. Heard's designated forensic experts upon the supervision of Mr. You know Johnny's expert um, or his colleague by November 30th. Uh, because the hardware and software used to conduct the imaging and extraction of data is critical to ensuring the integrity of the data for purposes of 
Johnny's expert analysis. The order provided that should Miss Hurd's experts not have access to the appropriate hardware or software, we would make arrangements with Miss Hurd's experts to ensure the appropriate programs are used. To protect Miss Hurd's personal and potentially privileged data, the order provided that a neutral third party attorney, Craig Young, would review the extradited data and isolate any irrelevant or privileged information from the data set to be analyzed at Mr. Depp's expense. I just want to pause because if this is true, like what the hell? Like yes. Miss Hurd's team was is supposed to do it. You uh, you are there, Hurd team. You're there to do it. Johnny's there's team to, to verify and make sure that you're doing getting what we want. You have a third party lawyer to protect your privacy that's there to make sure no hanky panky's going nothing weird's going on. Uh, how how could this not be fairer for Miss Hurd? Johnny's paying for it all. Johnny's yeah. just saying, look, we want to make sure you use these programs, which your experts can use. If you don't have them, we will help provide them. But uh, this couldn't have been more buttoned up. I don't know how yeah. you dispute this on Amber's side at all, because it's just completely buttoned up. They weren't being difficult. They gave her every option. They're working with her experts. They're working with a third party protector. Like, I'm already frustrated. Do you guys feel that, too? <laughs> I don't know what else Johnny could have done. You know, like how else, how can you make this any easier or any more transparent? Yeah. Good question. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, apparently as of February 18th, the imaging of all of Ms. Hurd's devices and cloud still had not been completed. And Mr. Depp's expert had not received a single piece of extracted data to analyze. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> In fact, he did not receive any extra, extra data until March 2nd. <sighs> and to date is still receiving data extracted from her devices on a rolling basis. Uh, even when data is finally available to send Mr. The Expert, Johnny's Expert, there's inexcusable mishaps and delays. On one occasion, an encrypted drive of photographs was sent to him without the password necessary to access the contents. So the drive needed to be resent. On another, he received a file without the raw photographs, not in the agreed upon format. Like, how do you, met? you're already late. And they're like, oh, just send whatever. And then you, your people are just sending nonsense to sort of please. Well, Your Honor, we sent something. Uh, not our fault. We're not data experts. Johnny offered to pay for your data experts, you bozo. <laughs> Uh, making matters worse, much of the data has been provided uh, has either is either irrelevant or seem to be corrupted. So they've been drowning him in photographs, 58,000 photographs that he's now received. Substantial portion of the types of photographs ordered to be analyzed, namely of Miss Heard. Many of the photographs are incapable of analysis. For example, there are multiple photographs that are visually the same and indicate that they're directly photographed images. But these original photos do not hash, with the hash being the digital fingerprint of the photo, like your iPhone takes a photo there's de metadata on it that you can't really fake uh see exhibit c for other photographs the xfi the e exif data shows dates from the 1970s or 1980s which is literally impossible since the x axf data was not invented until 20 years later and miss heard wasn't even born until they've blacked out how old she is i guess she's lying about her age <laughs> That's an interesting little thing I didn't know. Uh, the errors were not a result of photos being extracted from unallocated space. They revert to epoch time in most every case. You ought to drown. I don't even understand what that means, but from what I'm gathering, signs of corruption or something's going on because these files aren't what they're supposed to be from the phone. Uh, these anomalies may be a result of unlicensed or outdated software used by Miss Hurd's experts to image her devices, a fact which was only discovered by Mr. Depp's experts on February 24th, Miss Hurd's experts would have used licensed up-to-date software if they had uh, to ensure clean imaging extraction. But unfortunately, the forensic images were extracted before his team learned that Miss Hurd's experts were using unlicensed software. In short, the process has been a mess and the data obtained, therefore, is unusable for purposes of analysis uh, that he was retained to perform. Um, so th she's not a, she didn't obey the order of discovery is what the issue is here. And so he goes in with the argument, sort of uh, misheard and her, her retained experts are in blatant and inexcusable contempt of this court's order, directing the forensic images of the device. That's a truly crucial here in the way he's writing it too is smart. Like, hello, judge and court, you demanded this and she didn't provide it. She still isn't providing it and she's doing it wrong. This has been, this happened all through the UK case too, but they just sort of like, whatever. We believe you, Amber. Um, but here we're seeing more of it and more of it of her team just sort of, you know, screwing it up. And, you know, oh, sorry, judge. Right. Doesn't matter. Right. And, and, and I'm, it's oh, I'm enough. It's like enough is enough. 
Uh, the court needs to find that Ms. Hurd's failure to obey the order has caused Mr. Depp prejudice to award sanctions. Uh, Mr. Depp's prejudice is undeniable, and accordingly, sanctions are all more necessary to right the wrong. Mr. Depp has had a great expense for this forensic expert to foot the bill. Uh, totals are $40,000 to review the data. Um, in order to vet the evidence, which is that centerpiece of Ms. Hurd's case, photographs to show these injuries uh, because of her unconscionable disregard of the court order, all of this may be for naught as time has essentially run out for a competent imaging extraction and analysis to be conducted before trial. Mr. Depp accordingly requests the court impo impose the following section sanctions. Order Ms. Hurd to reimburse for the cost of retaining this expert and the court you know, appointed person. Uh, order that all the photographs of purported injuries that Ms. Hurd intends to rely on at trial uh, are as inadmissible for any purpose, or alternatively instruct the jury at trial that they may in in infer that any photographs or purported, uh, purported injuries that Ms. Hurd offers are admitted at trial may have been manipulated or altered to show injuries that are not present. Um, like, this isn't good for Amber. This is not no. good at all for Amber. And the fact that she delayed and didn't do this properly again points to her ignorance her narcissism her, her lies again it comes back to that first question i asked you both why would you not want this to be ironclad if you really had real injuries if that was not at all something weird here it is officer here's my phone of course i want him to go to jail of course this is real there's just so much arguing and legal tricks that she's trying to pull when it's so easy what she can prove. It would have been done years ago, and she never does. She's always difficult. She's always playing this. Uh, going to you first, Kim, as you read this, uh, we, we don't know what the judge is going to do, but are, do you, I, I, I clearly you're feeling the frustration, but what are your reactions to this? Should the judge just completely wipe these photos out altogether, or, or do you think they're just going to say, well, fine, it's fair to say that they could have been manipulated because they never got the time to do it? Honestly, looking at this, and we're going to just say for sake of argument that everything that Johnny is saying is true in this motion. Yep. If Amber is not being forthcoming with information, why should it be allowed to be used as evidence? That's, kind, that's my bottom line. If this is not something that you could produce um, legally and effectively, especially if you are now, you would we have it written here that you've been using, I'm guessing pirated software to even do your investigation. Like this is obviously not above board and it should not be used in a court of law. And I think they're gonna have to move pretty quickly to fix this if they are going to fix it. And if I was the judge and they were not moving forward to fix it quickly, I would just say, throw it out. There's no point. These pictures do not exist. What do you think, Grizzly? I agree with that. I mean, I, you know, I think the reason it seems like this is a slam dunk case for Johnny Depp, except that, you know, why we all probably so like worried and hyped up is because what if it isn't? That is a very mm. scary thought. What if she actually gets away with this? So I really think they shouldn't show any of those images in court because just by what you read there, and you know, I love documents and you know, I love documents. <laughs> I mean, heaven over here reading through the documents with you. And I'm like, Okay, so that obviously, clearly, she's manipulated some of the images. Clearly, there's all these little conniving tricks going on. So how can they show that in court? It should all be dismissed from her side, all these images and things. No, it can't be used as evidence. Yeah, I mean, it, it's crazy. So because I, I was looking through the the evidence that they, the original document, sorry, as I scroll up, scroll up, give everyone a headache. But this is the original document um, that was the court order from November. Uh, that yeah. he included here that sort of demand that both parties, you know, hand over, including Johnny, everybody on November 8th. So we, she had and it's all in here. The requests, the foot programs, everything was clear back in November. Uh, the time periods of when, you know, the alleged incidents happened, photos they wanted to make sure they had. And, and it does make sense why they want a lot of photos, because they basically want any photos before and after the alleged incidents that she took on her phone of herself, because that would be very telling. Right. Do you, we would see. If those are real, if there's any tracings or not tracings of actual things. So all valid. And uh, why wouldn't you want to hand that over if you really had those injuries? Yeah, is yeah. What's very confusing all or nothing. to me. Yeah. 
Yeah. It, 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 it's, it's, it's a weird thing, Amber. You can say we're all, you know, not listening to you and don't believe you, but you're making it very easy for us to not believe you because you're always fighting every step of the way. Uh, and so this court order demanded all that. And then we had this sort of document from uh, the expert, Johnny's expert. This was in February. But then I want to look at the one from this week. I have extensive, you know, he goes through his 41 years of experience doing uh, for the Department of Defense, Fortune 500 companies. Like, the dude's clearly legit. Uh, as uh, Ms. Hurd's designated forensic Albert shall provide the images requested, yada, yada. Uh, I did not receive any data that was extracted until March 2nd. As of this date, I'm still receiving data from these devices on March 22nd. Uh, this is what didn't have the correct password. Uh, Ms. Hurd's retrained experts use unlicensed and outdated software to image the devices, uh, including Cel Celebrite and Mix Microsoft Excel. More specifically, they're using un unlicensed 2010 version of Microsoft Office. The key software in this case, Celebrate, is also unlicensed, which means it's outdated and obviously not supported for my for updates by the manufacturer. We did not discover that they were using any unlicensed to date. 53, uh, 56, all, a fair percentage of these photographs are obviously not of Ms. Hurd, including photographs of perpetrated property damage. Mr. Depp, a text messages per the court's order was supposed to mark any irrelevant, any photos that were not of misheard. So they're drowning him in photos is what this reveals. So he, they have to go look through them all through Johnny's experts rather than what the court order said, which was only send the ones of Amber. That's not, that's your cost, Amber. That's on you. You got to do it. You got to do it, but she didn't do it. Uh, yeah. I received there's something that I've never seen before in my professional experience without direct access to the device. For example, there are 12 images which virtual, visually look the same and indicate they are a directly photographed image. Like a, I, I'm, to me, that makes sounds like when you do a screen cap of a photo. Um, directly, th though the sizes and orientations are different. These original photos should all hash with one another. The hash is a digital fingerprint of the photo, but they do not. The answer to these mm. questions may be in their extraction, but their software was all unlicensed and outdated, so it would have to be rerun on current software to be forensically valid. Um, at some point, the data, the dates were taken would not make sense. He goes on. Uh, so, yeah, th this expert's like, you know, this isn't working. Um, and then we got more of his, his clods and stuff there. Um, again, at the end of the day, like, I, I don't know why she'd hide this. Uh, and it's really frustrating as we get this stuff. It's more only more evidence for me to show that she's lying once again uh, for something this serious with so many victims that she's allegedly, you know, standing for and doing this on behalf of. I don't understand why she want to risk anything to not be on the up and up. It, it makes me more and more angry. Uh, do you? Yeah, I mean, I, I, the, un, the like the weird. I don't fully understand. Is it if I have an outdated Microsoft Word? I don't know why they're using Microsoft Word to do images. But Excel. Excel. It's, Excel. it's weird. But I, 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 Excel for images. I mean, you're right. The, I do worry, like the <laughs> argument of, oh, it's a, not a licensed program. Who cares if it's an old, outdated program? I don't know. But what are they really doing on Excel that could have changed it? I, I, I and going through the details, I don't know how sketchy that really is ultimately. But I got to trust the expert here, and the fact that she didn't give him the data, the fact that she's drowning him in the photos, those are big problems for me. Uh, final words as we wrap up this segment, though. I'll go to you first, Grizzly. When you see all this, uh, what are your thoughts? Oh, man. I mean, I, I just think she is the only motivation in her psychology would be to protect her ego. That is the only thing she's trying to do is just one up Johnny Depp and bring this. And everything seems quite corrupt. I really, really hope that he wins this case. I really hope there'll be justice for Johnny Depp because someone like that cannot get away with something like this. That's <laughs> my closing thoughts. One, one hopes. <laughs> Kim, anything else you want to add? I mean, I hope that this is a lesson to all experts in the field that maybe you shouldn't be doing your image, you know, investigations <laughs> with the with Microsoft Excel that's a decade behind. Yeah, it's, not a, it's a really weird program. But I, I don't you know, know if the old one would even matter. Like an any expert, version of so Excel is the problem. Yeah, <laughs> I would yeah, never well, use I'm, Excel for my. I mean, I guess if you're like documenting it, but yeah, how do you take a photo yeah. into Excel? I don't it's know. So weird. <laughs> I don't know. Bottom line, if the court asks you to produce something, produce it. Do it the way you're supposed to. Yes. Be above board. Respect the system. And do what you're supposed to do. Because it's only going to help you in the end. If you yes. don't do what you're supposed to do, it makes you look ridiculous. And mm -hmm. if Amber had a leg to stand on in this case, she's just made herself look kind of stupid. And here we are. Yeah, what's yeah. so frustrating, my biggest worry about all of this is the fact that it's just gonna, he's going to lose on a technicality. 
It's always what a lot of these cases end up doing, and it's so frustrating. You have all this evidence, you have all these proof and example, but at the end of the day, it really could just come down to the fact of, well, this new anti-slap law says she's allowed to talk broadly, so even if I think she's an abuser, technically she didn't slander you, so you lose. Like, that's what's going to be really frustrating about this case. Like, it's very possible that's what ends up happening, and I'm, I'm hoping I'm, I'm trying to stay positive and hoping that doesn't happen. But more often than not, there's so many stupid technicalities that that's how it, you know, they go. Maybe other victims will come forward, though. In these cases, there's often other victims. Maybe new boyfriends or ex-boyfriends will also come forward and say, actually, if he loses this. But again, what's, he on tri what's she on trial for? Defaming him in that article. That's the yeah. problem here. It's not about, like, did, did, uh, yes. did I do it? They're hoping to make that argument, and I, I hope they get to make that argument because I don't feel like they listened in the UK. In the UK trial, they they literally just listened to her and ignored all his evidence. They ignored cop witnesses, like they ignored it all, and were just like, "Yep, we believe her." It's different over there, and it's easier for her uh, for the press. Excuse me, over there, so we shouldn't even really compare. But I don't know, man. I'm I'm getting I'm just nervous. I, I hope I hope he gets a chance after all of this with so much public interest, I hope that jury yeah. and the judge will actually like, well, did he do it? Did he do it? Should he, mm -hmm. it should, it was she a victim of this? Um, not, are we allowed to talk about it? At the end of the day, let's establish that yes, his career's tanked. She's accused him of this clearly. Can we establish if there's actually evidence of that happening? And let's get to it and really have the trial. I, I hope that's what happens. If anything, I hope we're able to prove that. Maybe he's able to prove that even if he loses the case, he's able to prove, okay, I'm not defamed because technically I'm allowed to talk about this public topic, but we do find that he didn't abuse her. <laughs> like there might, maybe there's some weird midway that ends up happening. We'll see, but I'm curious what you guys in the chat think. Let me know. We had four new members while we started. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Jennifer, Natalie, Claudia, Sanchez, Duran, and Ang Irv. Thank you guys so much for coming. Planet Series, they can throw some Johnny heads or Andy heads or... Uh, Steph heads or just popcorn all of our special custom emojis there thank you guys for signing up and becoming members uh thank you guys for being here. we're not done we still got more to talk about i want to ask you something else grizzly but i'm just trimming this portion for the show where can people find you grizzly true crime on youtube correct correct check her out that's where you can find her and then it's kim over on youtube for you kim right yeah yeah I'll put the links in the description. Uh, if you're watching live, don't go anywhere. We are done. But uh, if you uh, saw this on the replay, thanks for watching. If you want to catch the full members-only streams, you can always become a member today. Click that join button, and you can watch them anytime you want.